Hey everyone. So my name is Shivy Williams. I am your health, wellness, and fitness accountability coach. Excuse me. And I hope you reach yours by holding you accountable for reaching them. But I also host a 30-day challenge. So this video is going to show you how to do the 30-day uh, exercises for the month of April. So one of the things that um, was requested for 30-day challenges is to add in more weights. So this year, that's what I'm doing, adding in more weights uh, for the 30-day challenge. So the, for next month, we're doing a dumbbell, or what do you call it, a water bottle challenge. So if you don't have dumbbells, you can go get you a, eight, um, a gallon jug of water. It weighs about eight and a half pounds, or any size water bottle. You can use those for weights. Also, I'm gonna be using a yoga ball. You can use a chair. Um, we will be on the floor doing things. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the other equipment you can, you can use during this challenge. One of them is a weighted vest. So here's my weighted vest. It's about 20 pounds, right? So weighted vest right here. I'm gonna take it back off, but I bought it off Amazon. So weighted vest is one option. Some other options, of course, are your dumbbells. You can have different size dumbbells, um, one up to whatever size you need, right? Five is a good weight also to, to kind of have. I have some ankle weights here. These are two and a half pound ankle weights. I also have some um, heavier ankle weights made in five pounds. I have these bands, different size bands. These are some really good bands. This is an extra strong one. This, as you can see, it's hard for me to stretch. But you can use your bands. Um, if you have some of these bands, you can use these instead of dumbbells, okay? So you can use really kind of whatever equipment you have to get the challenge done, or you don't have to use any equipment at all. Hey, good morning, Karen. So um, I probably will be using my other yoga ball instead of this one. I'm stuck using my yoga ball. But this one will work for today. I need to blow them up some too. All right, so let's get started. Some of these you can sit, some of them you can stand. So here we go. I'm just gonna use this 10 pound, these 10 pounds to show you guys exercises. Alternating bicep is first. You're gonna bend your knees, palms are facing forward. Up, down, up, down. Now what you don't wanna do is rock, right? Don't do that. Just stand still. If you find yourself rocking, lean up against the wall, right? To stabilize your back. Next exercise, bent over tricep one arm extensions. So basically, you can take, you can take your chair, I'll take this ball for right now, bend over, kick back, right? It's basically kickbacks. Abs are tight, right? I'm just gonna switch to the other side to even things out here. Kick back, kick back, kick back. You also don't have to um, use a chair ball. You can use your leg if you want. Next up are bench press, chest press. So you can lie down on your couch, bed, mat. Palms are facing up, right? You're gonna press up. Bring the dumbbells or your water bottles, whatever you're using close together. If you're not using anything, just bring those hands close together. And it's just up and down and squeezing the chest, okay? Next up, um, actually, I'll stand up here in a few minutes. I'm gonna do, since I'm on the floor, crunches. So you're gonna do weighted crunches. And you can take your dumbbell, place it right here on the chest. You don't have to use heavy weight for this one. I don't want you to. And it's just crunch, crunch, crunch. Now again, if you don't have weights, don't worry. If you don't want to use the weight, don't worry. Sometimes people find doing ab exercises very difficult. So you don't have to use the weight to crunch. All right. So next exercise is we're going to bend over and touch our toe. 
right? So you bend over at the hip, touch the toe, touch the toe, touch the toe, working. There's no weights involved with this one. Working that waist, twist, and back and arm. Now, if you have wrist weights, you can wear those, so you can use that, and that will help with this exercise, All right? Adding weight really helps to build lean muscle, burn more fat, believe it or not. Um, so next over, bent over flies. So I'm gonna bend over here. Let me get my this up first. Bend over and bend the elbows and fly the dumbbells out. Just like that. Next up, we're gonna sit down. So we're gonna do some seated curls. I'm gonna sit on my ball. You can sit in a chair or a bench. If you have a bench at home, you can use your bench. Feet are flat and it's alternating. So up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and one more, down. So you see my hands are more, not forward, but like to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna stand back up. Next up on the list, overhead tricep extensions. So, you take your water bottle, you take your um, dumbbell, or you just take your hands. Bring them up, if you have your hands, you're just gonna interlace your fingers and go down, stretch up, down. The knees are slightly bent, the abs are tight, and you breathe out, go up, and squeeze the triceps. All right, so next up, standing flies. It's just up, down, up, down, up, down. Next up, um, calf raises, because I can't read my handwriting. <laughs> so up, down, with the weight. Up, down, up, and down. Next up, uh, hammer curls. So we're gonna take our hands just like this, right? The palms are facing in instead of out. You're bringing your hands up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Next up, uh, onto the floor. So we're gonna do some Russian twists. Now, if you can't do Russian twists, I'm going to show you alternative. You can sit in your chair to do this. You're just going to twist at the waist, right? So you can sit up and just twist. You can use your weight. Twist, 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 twist. You can lean back just a little bit. Twist, 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 twist. Go all the way back to the Russian twist and touch your hands to the mat or floor. Twist, twist. So that's Russian twist. Um, oh, <laughs> we got push-ups next. <laughs> so I've done 25 push-ups today already. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably do 25 right now because I gotta do 100 today. But I'm sure you guys have to do different ones. So I'm gonna count these in. So. You can use your chair, you can use the wall for a countertop. On the floor, this is what we're gonna do. Shoulder, elbow, wrist line, hips and knees in line. And you're just gonna go down, one, down and up, just like this. Or use your chair, right? You can also come here, bring the hips down, right here, and one, that or you can go on the feet and the hands now it's going to be up to you 
how you place your hands. I like to have my hands just like this, right, to work more of the triceps. You take your arms out wider and work more at the back and the chest. I'm gonna do five more. And you always wanna breathe when doing push-ups. I say that because I tend to hold my breath. <laughs> Dips are next. So, I'm gonna take a chair. Again, you can use the bench, the end of a treadmill. You can use the floor. I'll show you how to do it on the floor. To be, knees are bent, down, up, elbows go back. You can take your legs out a little bit further, right? You can be flat or on your heels are all the way straight, that's gonna be harder. You can cross one leg over, do one-legged ones, and I'm gonna move this chair out of the way, and show you dips on the floor. Okay, here we go. Maybe you only do one of them, but hips up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All right. You can sit to do this or stand. But shoulder presses, right? Arms up, knees back, press up and down. Shoulder presses. Next up, lunges. Chill, lunge. And you just lunge as deep as you can. Like, I don't go real deep. I don't want you guys to go at my level if you can go further. But those bands will work great. Those thigh bands, whew. All right. Next, reverse dumbbell crunch. So I'm gonna put this down, one of these. And what you're gonna do and you don't have to use the dumbbell, okay? I'm gonna show you some alternatives here. So, you can't get on the floor, don't worry. I want you to sit on your chair and just do high knees, right? High knees, sitting down in the chair. Get those knees up to work the lower abs. Now, alternative move, arms go back holding the dumbbell or water bottle up and down. Make sure that lower back stays on the floor. And you should have to tilt your hips up. Now, here we go. Bring them up as high as possible. Now, reverse crunch. Bring your butt up, come down, up, come down, up, and come down. Don't let the feet touch if you can help it. Down here in the back, okay. Now, let me look at my little cheat sheet here because I think I forgot one exercise. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, okay. I got them all. That's it. I don't know why I have this other thing on here. I said don't go on there. But, um, <laughs> okay, that's it, y'all. So let's talk a little bit more about the challenge. So for this challenge, again, it's a 30-day challenge. We're working arm, <laughs> that's my abs, abs, arms, um, legs, butt, back. You saw we are working the full body. So you can start signing up today. The first three days of the challenge are free, as always, so that way you get a little taste to see what's happening with the challenge. You don't need weights, but if you do want to use weights, you can. Weights or dumbbells or bands, um, leg bands, whatever you have, you can use those water bottles, the cheapest weights you probably can buy, especially right now. So what else are we doing for the 30-day challenge? The 30-day 30, 30 challenge also includes, um, if you want to, 
um, a weekly challenge. Sometimes it has something to do with food. Sometimes it has something to do with exercises. Um, also, so we've got our weekly challenges. Next up, we have our um, 10,000 steps a day or more. Been doing that lately. Also, 64 ounces of water or more. Meatless Monday. And then some of the ladies are doing intermittent fasting. Right, so you can also do that as well. So if you want to sign up, you can check the link in the post description box. You can go visit my website, www.lbexperience.com to sign up. The challenge is $15 and I'll see you guys in the challenge. Bye, everybody. Keep pushing on. Things are gonna go.